guys, it's Mariska from Design by Mariska and today we are here at the World Art Dubai and we're checking out some of the artists, we'll be talking to some of them and checking out some really funky art. You can watch some live painting as well as view over 3,000 art pieces from 150 artists from 30 countries. All of the countries was represented with these awesome roses that looked like the air flags. You can take a stroll around as there were so many stunning pieces and they were all for sale. A great way for a young emergent collector to start or someone to pick up a piece they want for that empty space in their house. first artist that I talked to was Jeff Murray. Hello, my name is Jeff Murray. I'm an artist from the UK that creates works independently. Okay, so my latest piece, which I just finished this one, just in time for the show, uh, a week ago. It's titled The City of the Middle East. I spent the last two months working on it, about 600 hours of drawing time and I used 40 pencils. So I'm very happy to be promoting this new work here at Wild Under by 2017. It's featured and focused on part of the work I'm currently standing in uh, as one big piece of the network. So yeah, I'm very happy to be promoting this new piece here. Okay, so I'm mostly inspired by travel. These are all ideas and thoughts. I mean, for he'll do the, the main main thing of traveling, things of like, going to places, like that's watching Middle East, seeing them, this is meeting America. Meeting new people, seeing new sights, like climbing the mountains, Tower, walking the streets, trekking through the rainforest, swimming in the Chicago. oceans, and seeing it all, and then putting all of those thoughts into practice. So I like to call them my visual journey. That's a great case. Okay, so my favourite artist is MC Escher, MC Escher. Um, I was fascinated as a kid by his work, so he would be someone I would definitely to have a chat with and get a feel for how he did his work. But also I wouldn't mind meeting up with um, Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Um, just want to ask him why colours in. <laughs> so my advice to any young artist, uh, whether they're new to it, they've been doing art for a long time and they want to do it professionally, is just to follow their passion, their dream, what they love doing, they create. Don't maybe go in the direction that others feel they should, because they think certain things will work in a particular group. Do what they what, what comes from within, what they enjoy most. People will relate to that, will see that. And understand that that's um, true authenticity that they create. It's not put on, it's not for a crowd. Create what they believe in, create what they love. That's what I'd say. So after speaking with one of the artists, I took another stroll around and there was so many different groups as well being exhibited at this art exhibition. One of them was the Ajala Project. Hi, I'm Hassan, co-founder of the Ajala Project. So what we do at the Ajala Project is we use arts to raise awareness for causes around the world. So we commission our artists to create paintings that reflect the cause. And then we sell the paintings through our website, through exhibitions, and then proceeds from the sales of each artwork is actually donated to the grassroots initiative. And then we also use it to support the artists. So the idea here is a lot of artists and grassroots initiatives, they lack exposure and resources to scale their impact. So what we're doing is we're bringing arts and social impact together and creating an opportunity to, to facilitate private individuals and public entities to be sort of in the to be able to support initiatives that matter. So uh, we're a Dubai based initiative we're looking to engage artists, we're looking to work with different uh, stakeholders around the world and we believe in nomads changing the world and uh, check out our website the Ajala Project.com or follow us on Facebook, Instagram, Twitter. See another artist I spoke with is this South African artist, which I absolutely loved his work. Assalamu alaikum. Hello everyone, my name is Junaid Semichal Silicon, all the way from South Africa. What makes my work different from the other artists? And that is the solvent technique, what they 
years. Unfortunately, photos got into justice for my work. That is why you need to see it in person, actually to appreciate the work, but also the solar reflections that come through my artwork. For that, I have an art gallery in France of South Africa, and I try to meet the interactive game of players all around the globe. That is my first time here in Dubai to come say hello to my clients and to meet new clients. And not even after this show, I have to be in New York again for an exhibition at the Pier Night before from the 21st on the 25th, when you again can come say hello and meet new players and appreciate the art. What inspires me? I become very quickly bored. So for me, everything in life is going about passion. Everything. If I interact with my body, if I even interact with animals, it's all going about the power of positive energy. And of course, passion. It's like food. If you make it food with passion, you will enjoy it. The same with my art. To create my paintings, it's a smile. Space. Well, I'm always busy with different themes, but currently now I'm busy with two private commissions. One is a newlywed couple, and the other one is actually a client from Abu Dhabi who commissioned me to do a painting about polo. So, yeah, with me back in South Africa, I need to finish the paintings. <laughs> Where do I want to be? Currently, I want to be here. Uh, I love Dubai. I love to interact with the people, see the skyscrapers, see the buildings, enjoy every moment, but I'm here for work. So my focus point is currently here at the World of Dubai. Next week, I will be in New York, and that is again where my focus point will be. But don't worry, you say you can't take a break. At least I will have a day or two. Don't do anything in the book. Do it different. They will talk you. Don't do black line, don't use black paint. But I'm using black paint. Nothing is impossible. Open your mind. See the expectations, what you can expect. Yes, you have to follow advice from elders, but they're not always correct. Try to follow what your gut feeling is telling you. And use passion. Try to make your passion. After speaking with so many of these artists, it was clear that they all had a passion for one thing and that was art. It was such a fun day at the World Trade Center with a great collection of art. I would highly recommend this exhibition. I hope you guys have enjoyed this video. Please do leave some comments and also consider subscribing to the channel. Have a wonderful day.